Tiger II, the infamous destruction machine in World War II, was once the obsession of any powerful army in the world. But this Terminator could not help Hitler change the situation of World War II. As World War II entered its final years, Germany really pushed the boundaries of what could happen in the military world. The country began to develop many formidable weapons and military vehicles, such as the Messerschmitt Mi-262 fighter jet. In addition, there were other incredible weapons, such as the V-1 and V-2 missiles. But what was most important to Berlin was to upgrade of the armored division. Despite owning the Tiger I heavy tank, Germany still wanted to create a more fearsome tank. To meet the needs of military, the Henschel and Sun Company had launched the Tiger II tank, also known as the King Tiger. This tank was first put into service in 1944 and served only for one year until the end of World War II in 1945. Many people think that King Tiger was the most optimal development of German tank technology, but it appeared too late, so it could not help Berlin overcome this war. Tiger was born from the wish of Nazi leader Adolf Hitler to install an 18mm caliber L-71 gun on a tank. This gun was even larger than the Tiger I. Hitler asked the two companies that built the Tiger I, Boscher and Hansker, to mount this new gun on an improved version of the Tiger chassis. However, the two companies came up with very different concepts. Posture presented two versions of the tank, one with a front turret and the other with a rear turret, both using the same petroelectric drive train system as the Tiger One. Meanwhile, Hesker came up with a completely different idea. The company's tank would have a tank-like hull, but larger than the original Tiger version, and were covered with angular armor both at the front and at the rear, similar to the Panther tank. It used the same track as the Tiger one, with two standards, one for use in combat conditions and the other for transport use. Thanks to this design, Hensker won the contract. The Tiger II entered production in December 1943 with a turret modified from the Krupp Corporation turret. The new turret had a simpler structure, although Hensker had previously installed 50 old turrets for 50 Tiger IIs built by this corporation. Tiger II was equipped with an 88mm caliber KWK-43L-71 gun with very good armor penetration. It also had a TZF-90 viewfinder for a very high accuracy. Due to being born quiet at a time when Germany began to face many difficulties, the King Tiger was used very limited. It was once expected to be the game-changing jump card. The Tiger II had a similar mission to the Soviet IS-2 tank, which was to destroy enemy tanks from a long range, as well as attract fire to support friendly units. The King Tiger was first used in the Battle of Normandy in July 1944 and was quickly deployed on the Eastern Front in August 1944. They were deployed most during the Battle of Athens in 1944, the end of World War II. 
about 150 tiger tools were deployed in this battle, but most suffered losses. This was a huge defeat for Germany, which had only about 500 tiger tools at the time. The first version of the Tiger II lacked reliability, but after the designer modified the tank's sewers and drive train components, its reliability rate increased to 59%, close to that of the Panzer IV with 62%. For a heavy tank, it also proved to be quite a czar, making it as good or perhaps better than or perhaps better than a lot of Allied and German tanks. The King Tiger's armor was incredibly effective, and there is no known instance of the front armor of the King Tiger ever being penetrated, but its time in service was very short-lived. At a time when Germany probably needed simple effective fighting machines, the King Tiger was not that. They were complex to build, hence the low production numbers, and late in the war, Germany was struggling to fight fear for its aircraft, tanks, trucks, virtually everything. The unreliability issues the King Tiger had early in service weren't ideal either meaning attention was diverted from building more of them. It was for those reasons that the King Tiger wasn't able to turn the war around for Germany. But nonetheless, this was still an impressive weapon, and if it were to be produced in large numbers, it would certainly give the Allies a head edge at the end of World War II.